Hi, and this is a short video introduction to Svelte Kit. And let's begin. And also, if you don't know what is Svelte, and in short words, I can describe this like a new JavaScript rework, but it's better to say that this is a new compiler for JavaScript to build a lightweight application. And if you don't know nothing about Svelte, there is a cool course from me, so you can just find this on my channel, Svelte Crash Course, and just watch it. So now let's get back to Svelte Kit. First, let me tell you what is Svelte Kit. In short words, can describe this like a um, cool tools tool set that you can use to build a full stack or for example just front end application with Svelte, with Avon Roads, with Avon API if you want and there is also <laughs> a comment how you can create a new Svelte kit application so let's do this and let me open my terminal and show you how uh, we will do this and how we will create a new application so you will type this comment that you can copy from the official website as you can see and let's name our application for example svelte kit app okay and let's wait until new application will be created and also when you will try to create a new svelte kit application uh, you will get this message that you will need to install this package to create uh, this application so i press here enter and let's wait until everything will be installed after that i will open this project inside inside Visual Studio Code. So as you can see, when you try to create a new application with Svelte Kit, here we have Svelte CLI and we can choose app template. So for example, Skeleton project, this is just empty project, library project or Svelte Kit demo app. So I think that it's better to show you Svelte Kit demo app because there, this, this is really a cool example for beginners that don't know nothing about uh, Svelte Kit. So let's choose here Svelte Kit demo app. And also if you want, you can use in this tutorial TypeScript in your uh, Svelte kit ap applications, but I will use just uh, JavaScript. So let's choose JavaScript and also at at least at a slint. And now let's open Svelte kit app. And here we will need to type npm install and also copy this command to open um, local server of the application. So let's wait until uh, all packages will be installed and after that I will open my project in Visual Studio Code and we will run local server of the application. Okay, as you can see, I opened my project in Visual Studio Code. So now let's run local server of the application and to do that we will type npm run dev and it will automatically open my application, local server of the application in browser. So as you can see here we have welcome and this is our new Svelte kit application and here we have just simple example uh, where we can click on counter and change value of this variable okay so now let's go to code let's see what we got inside under the hood so let's go to src folder and here we have roads folder so let me tell you what you need to do inside this folder as name suggests you will need to create in this folder roads and for example there is home page road and this is plus page that's felt but let me show you about pay about page as you can see here we have also pay plus page that's felt file this is because when you want to create a new road you will need to create a, a new folder for this road for example for about page and if you want to write all code for about page you will need to create uh, inside this about page folder a new file that will be named plus page that's file. So for example, let's try to create a new page that will be named contact and this will be contact page. So here I will create a page that's filed file and let's just type here contact us. That's all that I want. Yeah. And now this page will have the next URL. Uh, that I will show you now. So let's open first. Let's open local server. And now, if I will try to open contact page, you will see contact us title that I created inside my Svelte component. So this is a simple way how you can create this road. So remember, if you want to create a new road inside Svelte Kit application, you will need to create a, for this page a separate folder i mean inside roads page you will need to create a separate folder and inside this folder you will need to create a page uh, that's felt file for template of this road and also you can create a nested road so for example if i want i can create a contact for example company it will be roads that will be like a contact company yeah so now let's inside company folder let's create a page that's felt and here let's type company nested road so this is the way how we can create a nested road and now let's open browser and add here co slash company 
And as you can see, we see content from the templates that we created inside this company folder. So this is the way how we can create uh, templates. And now let me tell you why you see here plus page.js file. In this file, you can write all your backend logic of the page. So for example, you can try to create a here a new uh, variables. You can write here some actions, fun functions. So now let's make also a simple example. This is really short video. So I will just show you the main things that you need to know about Svelte Kit. So let's create a here a new uh, prop or maybe no, let's create just a simple variable that will, will, will be named, for example, contact. And let's type here contact as variable. Okay, let's save it. And now let's go to page that's felt of the contact folder page. And let's type here contact. Okay, let's show up this variable. And I think that I maybe no, I okay, I type it everything correctly. So now let's go to contact page. And yeah, I think I have maybe I check. Uh, okay, okay. Let's check terminal. So first, let's open Visual Studio Code, and maybe this is problem with. Okay, okay. Uh, contact is not defined. So yeah, I understood. So uh, let's type here export cons contact, and it will be like a public prop of the page. And I get again internal server error. So let me. Uh, we can try to type this here. So let's create here a new script tag. And it will fix it. Yes. Yeah, so if we open our browser again, as you can see, now everything fixes. So in page that's JS file, you can write uh, backend logic, uh, but it's better to, you know, uh, for example, if you want to write your props of the page, or for example, some variables, it's better to do all this stuff inside a uh, component, inside the component of the page. But in page JS, you can just write some requests, some functions, some environment, uh, import some environment, as you can see in this about example and now let's talk about layouts so as you can see there is a plus layout file and this is the way how you can create layouts for your uh, svelte app svelte kit application so for example if I want to create a new layout from my contact page, I will need to create a here a new uh, file that will be named layout.svelte inside contact folder. And as you can see, I get error that there is no slot. And what is slot variable? This is tag that will show all content of the page. So first let's create a new layout here. So for example, let's type here component company page, company page layout, that will be our title and here we will create another div where we're gonna show all content of the company page and to do that we will create here slot tag okay and now let's refresh it as you can see i get here company page layout but there is also law that uh layout root main root layout that we have inside roads folder and this is layouts that's all so yeah that's the way how we can create layouts and also as you can see you can create a components without any problem so for example if you want to create a, a separate component you will need just to create a component where you want or you can create a, a components folder and write all star all quality of components inside this folder okay and now let's talk about lib folder as you can see in lib folder you can save all your public data so for example you can type here you can save here images like in this example or for example you can save also here some css or js files and also there is static folder here you can also save some you know, st static files. So for example, this is robots.txt or for example, favicon. Now let me tell you about app.html file. Um, and this is just a main file that is responsible for all rendering. As you can see here, we uh, configuring favicon. And for example, if you, you, you will need to add some Google analytics, you can do this inside this file. Also, there is app.t.ts file. And as you can see, there is just uh, types conf configuration for your application and you can read about this more here yeah, on the official documentation and you know that's all for this tutorial because that will was just a quick introduction to Svelte kit that's all that you need to know also if you want to know more about Svelte and if you don't know what is Svelte you can check this on my official ch channel in the Svelte crash course so thanks for watching and we will meet in the next video